All right then, guys. It is the morning of November 5th, 2022. I'm on day four of OMAD Vegan, one meal a day on a plant-based diet. And it is starting to look and feel like November today. So it's like overcast, cool, wet, and rainy. And I'm at a gas station, went ahead and got some black coffee, watered down black coffee. That is good. Well, it's okay. So, um, I'm going to go to my mom's for a few hours. I go to my mom's a lot, usually on Thursdays after work, and then at some point on the weekend, Saturday and or Sunday. Um, and not much of a plan today. Probably just watch TV, chill. But I uh, brought some books with me to read. Well, I'm just relaxing over there. So, the Warrior Diet. I need to uh, reread this. It's about saving most of your most or all of your calories for one meal in the evening. Uh, and then I just went on Amazon a couple years ago and got a random one during my last attempt. The OMAD diet. This is more about OMAD as it's come to be known on the internet. Uh, the 23-1 fasting until one meal in the evening. Um, eating within one hour. I think this is the one hour rule. I need to reread this one too. I try to go by the one hour rule. Anyway... With or without a midday snack, preferably without. Um, I have absolutely no idea what I'm going to eat tonight. I'm sure I'll figure something out when I start to get hungry later on. Hopefully way later on, because it's only a quarter till 10 right now in the morning. And um, yeah, I stayed up way too late last night editing the uh, day three video. I actually cut it into two videos. The midday shake was one, and then the um, the vegan cheeseburgers and Beyond Steak was the second one. But uh, actually, for not getting a whole lot of sleep, I feel okay. Plus, I got the coffee. Take another drink of this. I'm not putting anything in the coffee. No fat, no coconut oil, uh, no fake sugar. Um... I haven't touched fake sugar in a while, at least over a month now. And with the coconut oil, I mean, if I were to have some keto days, which I may or may not do in the future, some vegan keto days, I'll cross that bridge when I get there. But when I originally did OMAD, I did not do that. I had just black coffee when it came to coffee. And I've, I've heard different things from different people about the whole putting fat or coconut oil or MCT oil and coffee. Some people say it helps you get into ketosis, but I've also heard it explained that your body has to deal with that fat before it can deal with your body fat. So I don't know. Um, anyway, this clip is getting a little longer than I was planning. I'm uh, on my way to my mom's. I might make a couple stops, but I'll probably just go ahead and jump cut it to the food scene tonight, whatever that may be. So I'll see you then. I stopped by Fresh Time and they have Yogi Tea marked down to $3.49. I think I'm going to go ahead and get this Pure Green Tea to keep at my desk at work. I just left Fresh Time, got some green tea, but right down the street from there is one of my other favorite stores, the Vitamin Shop. I like to go in here and see if they have anything on clearance. Some plant-based bars, but I'm not really snacking. I mean, I guess I could have a bar for a snack, but I prefer the shake. There's some plant-based meal replacements. Huh, that's actually a pretty good price. Uh, 
Uh, you know what? There's some single servings for 99 cents each right next to it. I think I'm going to get a couple of those. I need to get a new water anyway, so I'll go ahead and get that. Well, I guess I didn't jump cut to the meal after all, so just decided to stop by Fresh Time, or Fresh Time as I like to call it sometimes, and the Vitamin Shop, or the Vitamin Shop A as I like to call it sometimes. But uh, yeah, so I just got a couple of the plant-based single-serving meal replacement shake things. The reason why I didn't get the whole box is because then I'll feel obligated to go through the whole box and I'm trying to be, uh, I'm trying not to break down during the day and have a snack or shake. So this way I just got a couple of them. I can keep in my car or my desk just as like a backup plan or something. And I got a new bottle of water. So I like to keep one of these bottles in my car um, just to have water in. It gets old after a while, so every once in a while I... Uh, just get a new one. And when I open it for the first time, it's so good. That is good. It's a uh, alkaline water. I can taste the difference in water. I can. So, <laughs> um, anyway, I just thought that would be fun to, uh, stop by a couple of places and maybe get some clips to put in the video. So now I'll probably jump cut it to the food part. All right, guys, I'm at Kohl's, and my jeans are falling apart. I need to get new ones. I normally wear 40 30s, but I just tried on 38 30s, and they fit because they're stretchy. So since I'm about to lose weight anyway, I decided to go ahead and get these. That is good. Look at the sky. It's been like this all day. It's really windy too. It's about 4 p.m. Just got back from Kohl's. I'm still at my mom's. Thought I'd take a walk outside, get some steps. So I like to walk around this big circle. It takes about 20 minutes. And uh, yeah, I thought I'd get some footage of the leaves because it's pretty windy. Squirrel. Cat, leaves, so, oh, let's do it over there, well, almost, the tornado thing, I've seen like three or four mini tornadoes, it's kind of doing it right there. So, I like to try to get at least one 20 minute walk a day at work during the week. It's usually on my lunch break. When I come over to my mom's, I like to walk around the circle. Ideally, get two or three a day to add up to an hour. Walking for the win. It's about a quarter till 7 p.m. I'm home now, and I think tonight I'm gonna make barbecue tofu. So, just gonna air fry some tofu and Add barbecue sauce. Okay, so I guess I'll do a little demo here. I got Simple Truth, which is the Kroger brand. Tofu Extra Firm. Usually with tofu, a lot of people will uh, drain the water out of it. So squeeze the water out of it and cook it with something so it can reabsorb the flavor of whatever you're cooking it with. However, I've noticed with air frying, that's unnecessary. And it actually helps if there's still water in it. So I am not going to drain the tofu or press it. I'm simply just going to cut it like this, this way, and then cut it this way. Again, looking through a camera, <laughs> it's not, uh, that's not my best work, but um, that's okay. And then I just take it directly from the container and put it in the air fryer and then just break it apart. Okay, so lately I've been just keeping them 
and that rectangle shape. I mean, you can take a knife and uh, cut them into squares. Don't really want to do that because I might scrape the uh, bottom of the air fryer. So I've just been keeping them in rectangles like that. Then I just shut it. And I like to air fry tofu at 370 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 minutes and flip it halfway through. So just go ahead and start it. Okay, so while the tofu is air frying, I'm going to make the salad. Just got this classic uh, garden salad. Put it in the salad bowl. And yes, this is the same salad bowl, I'm pretty sure, that I used in, during my original OMA experiment. This is the other half of the can of black beans from last night's video. Usually I like to do half a can. Kind of depends on what the uh, bean is. Okay, so the next thing is milled flaxseed. This is just a source of fat to help with the fat soluble vitamins and with the omega, fat, yeah, omega fatty acids. And then balsamic vinegar. I'm using this pomegranate infused balsamic vinegar. Just kind of like, uh, oh, it came out too fast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not used to this bottle. Um, I usually just go around the outside and then like in the middle. Yeah. Alrighty then. Normally I would wait to add the flax seeds and the balsamic vinegar so it doesn't get soggy. So when I make a video, usually I'll wait to do that part right before I'm ready for the pictures and uh, to do the video. But I thought tonight um, I would just demo that real quick while the tofu was cooking. And speaking of the tofu, it's time to shake the basket. Okay, so it's halfway done. Just going to shake the basket. Let's get a little close up there. That stuff on the tofu is because my uh, air fryer is dirty. I need to clean it. But... Um, not too worried about it. So I used to take the basket out and shake it, but then this part broke. So I just literally just go like that. And uh, it usually flips it around. It works every time. 370 for 20 minutes, flip halfway through. Crispy tofu without any oil. But the strawberries are just put four in here. I'm going to take a look at my mini fridge. I bought this juice before getting back into OMAD. I think I'm going to drink this with the meal. Um, I think I'm going to take some uh, supplements tonight too. So, let's see. My Kind Organics, the Garden of Life, Men's Malte 40 Plus. Now, I'm not 40 yet, but I'm close enough, so plus I usually get this marked down. And vegan B12, vegan D3, there's a vegan algae-based omega preformed fatty acids. And there's also this one, vegan EPA DHA. Algae is preformed, unlike flax seeds where you have to convert it. So I like to take algae, um, not just apple cider vinegar. And I think that's it. Oh, there's some green gummies. Oh, and a vegan multidophilus probiotic. And of course, gonna drink a Kroger seltzer water. Ingredients, carbonated water. That is good. Okay, check that out. Just shake it to loosen it up. Then I just use a spatula to get it out of there. 
Just going to put it in this bowl. Okay, I got the air fried tofu in a bowl. Just gonna add this rib rack barbecue sauce. This is oil free barbecue sauce. Um, see if it'll, uh, there we go. It's just brown sugar, tomato puree, distilled vinegar, molasses, cornstarch, salt, spices, dried onion, garlic powder. So, just gonna add it to it. And, Again, probably not the easiest thing to do with one hand, but I'm going to just coat the tofu. Oh yeah, I think I'm gonna make the rest of the Beyond Steak from last night. Just gonna do 370 for five minutes. All right. Vegan steak. It turns out you can fake steak. Okay, guys, so the tofu isn't quite crispy enough. I'm going to go ahead and put it back in the air fryer with the barbecue sauce on. I've actually never done it like this, putting it back in, but uh, I think it needs just a couple more minutes. Okay, let's see what we got now. Let's see here. That's better. Okay, so I put the barbecue tofu on the plate, the Beyond Steak on the plate, and guacamole. I'm just using the classic holy guacamole. All right, so there's a close-up. Also, I like to have a sheet or two of nori on a regular basis. That's a good source of iodine. Check it out. I got my mukbang desk back where I had it before. So now I can sit at a desk when I do my eating videos. Okay, so there's the vitamins I like to take as a vegan. Just a multivitamin, a B12, a D3, and an algae-based omega. And then sometimes I'll also throw some other stuff in too. Well, I was about to do the part where I show the food, but I don't think that's enough food. I mean, it's like a little bit of protein and fat. I think I need some carbs too. I think what I'm going to do when I eat the Beyond Steak and guacamole is put it in this Trader Joe's whole wheat pita bread. My one meal for tonight is... Cold pressed juice, strawberries, salad with milled flaxseed and balsamic vinegar, barbecue, air fried tofu, meatless beyond steak, guacamole, and whole wheat pita bread. Alrighty then, so it's 8 p.m. I'm hungry, I'm ready to get started, so I'm gonna start out with this juice. This is Evolution Fresh. Organic Defense Up, orange, pineapple, mango, apple, acerola. So yeah, I'm about to be uh, back at my mukbang desk. Um, it looks like it might be a little dark. I'm going to have to figure out the lighting. And uh, it's a little late to do this. I usually like to be done eating um, before now. But it's the weekend, and I didn't get back home early enough. And I did a demo, so long story short, it's 8 p.m., so I got till 9 p.m. to eat. All right. That is good. Next is the strawberries. That is good. Before I eat the salad, I think I'm going to take my supplements. I'm going to start out with this Garden of Life, My Kind Organics, Men's Multi 40 Plus. Now I'm only 38, but I think I got this marked down, so yeah, I got a really good price on it, so close enough. Open the seltzer water. Okay. Got it. 
glory sheet here. I forgot to put that in the earlier video. Next, this is Vegan B12 spray. This is also a Garden of Life. Do uh, one or two uh, squirts. And next is Vegan D3. This is also a Garden of Life. I really like Garden of Life. With this, I just do usually one squirt, maybe two. And next, got the vegan EPA DHA, algae based omega fatty acids. So it is preformed omega fatty acids. And uh, yeah, just do a couple of those. This is basically, from what I understand, brain health. Um, I don't know if I want to get into the whole fatty acid thing. With flax seeds, we have to convert it into the usable type. Um, algae is already the usable type, so we don't have to convert it. And yeah, that's where the fish get it from. So, yeah, take a couple of these. And that's like my main like vegan vitamins I like to take. And then I usually take extra stuff too. Um, I have some stuff at my desk at work I take uh, just for like different things. And um, this is a vegan multidophilus digestive support, uh, three strains probiotic. So take one veg cap. And then this is the uh, goalie super green gummy. Um, it's got a bunch of green stuff in it. Artichoke, spirulina, aloe vera, kale, Moringa, broccoli, barley, grass, chlorella, parsley, spinach, celery. So I like green supplements, green powders, green stuff. Um, Cause you know, it's good to eat greens too, but I'm pro supplement. I'm pro uh, just like assurance with uh, stuff like that. And then nori, this is what they wrap sushi with. Um, put the stuff in the nori, wrap it up, and then cut it for veggie rolls. This is kind of like a supplement because it's a good source of iodine. Sometimes I'll uh, rip it up and put it in the salad, but sometimes I'll just eat it. So just going to eat this. Okay, so... Now time for the salad. Just going to toss the salad. Oh, I didn't show it first. It's a, uh, well, I already showed it earlier, but uh, black beans, low flax seed, we'll same vinegar. Well, this sure is a lot easier to do at a desk instead of sitting on the bed like I did yesterday. is good so I'm simply going to eat the salad in fast motion oh yeah I forgot to get my computer ready to watch something while I eat so I'm gonna go ahead and do that okay so I got the mouse and I'm just going to watch something while I eat Okay, I'm gonna let that digest for about 20 minutes. Okay, now for the main course. I'm gonna try the barbecue air fry tofu first. That is good. 
of course it's cold now because of making everything together, but that's okay. I have a background of being interested in raw foodism anyway, so I'm okay with cold food. I'm going to go ahead and finish the tofu. I just realized I didn't describe the tofu, so basically tofu is soybean curd. Um, it's kind of like a flavor sponge. It just absorbs the flavor of whatever you cook it with, so it's absorbing the uh, barbecue sauce flavor. But, um, yeah, just a... Uh, traditional meat substitute and try to go away from fake meat and eat more traditional meat substitutes like tofu, tempeh, which is a fermented soybean product, um, TVP, seitan, but mostly tofu and tempeh and I, I really want to get back into the tempeh because that's, that's even healthier than tofu because it's more of a whole food. But um, yeah, so with the air fryer, it makes it crispy on the outside and chewy on the inside. So when I bite into it, it kind of has crispy edges. So the longer it air fries, the more crispy it gets. But the inside is nice and chewy. And I usually just use the Kroger barbecue sauce, but I recently found out about that rib rack barbecue sauce um, just from watching YouTube videos. And um, it's got a nice flavor. It's got simple ingredients, but pretty good flavor. So I'm gonna go ahead and just finish this a little bit. Okay, so now for the Beyond Steak and the guacamole. I'm gonna try some of this by itself, just to uh, taste it. That is good. So this is the other half of the pack from last night. And got some Trader Joe's pita bread whole wheat pockets. So what I'm going to do is, I got two, I'm not sure if I'm going to use both, but um, probably just use one. I'm just going to take a knife and cut it down the middle, and I can just use it as a pita pocket. So just go ahead and put some of the Beyond Steak in there. Yeah, I'll probably just use one pita pocket. this whole one. So put some of the guacamole in there. And there you go. A vegan meatless steak and guacamole pita. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a bite. Take two on the first bite because I should have bit it lower. That is good. So I'm just gonna go ahead and eat it. Okay, I'm just gonna fill this one up now. Okay, so here's the second one, and just gonna eat this one. Last bite. Yesterday I was 267.2, 44.5% body fat. Today, I was also 267.2, but 43.4% body fat. So, um, I started out at 271.6, so I've lost over four pounds in just a few days. Body fat, 
went down from on day one it was 44.8 so yeah scale's going down body fat's going down and I'm only a few days into it I recorded a little bit more footage than I thought I was going to today but that's okay it's Saturday night I can stay up and get the video edited and posted. I probably will start posting shorter videos soon though. Tomorrow is daylight savings time. We fall back an hour, gotta set the clocks back an hour, so that'll be interesting. But uh, yeah, not much to say. I um, ran some errands, went to my mom's, skimmed the books that I showed earlier, made this video, and yeah, so just gonna try to keep going. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.